Okay. This should be rolling. Yes, it is. Okay. So this is uh, Springfield Hellcat 9mm. And I have an Olite PL2 Mini Valkyrie that should fit. So I've come into a problem. I haven't seen a video on YouTube about this. I have a ghetto rig set up. There's the PL Mini. So when you get your Olight PL Mini 2 with the rail that slides back and forth so it'll fit on your gun, it comes with a 1913 for a Pictini rail, and it comes with a GL for Glock. Uh, the 1913, I'll show you right here. Let's see if this will show. It's too big. It doesn't fit. It's close, but it doesn't fit. The Glock fits in there with just a little bit of wiggle room. The problem is there's too much material and it's too tall. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So without anything on, without the block in there, you can slide this on the rails, lock it down, lights up, and it's great, except if there's enough force in a holster, this will rip off because there's nothing holding it but the clamps. I'm not going to put the screws in these while I do this, just to save time. So here's the Glock one that fits. I'm just going to place that in there. Put this on. This pops out. It's got a spring in it, so it makes it easy. So it is on. I don't know. You should be able to see. I have a light here. Try to do this all in one take, make it nice and easy. So there's a rail. I'm trying to get that on right there. You can see just barely that it doesn't fit. This block right under here, it's too thick. That light is very bright. And, and it's not fitting the way it should. So I can't clamp this down, or I probably could, but it's at an angle. See that right there? So you have a couple options that you can do. One option is that you can take your, the screws and put them in. I'll just put one in to demonstrate it to you guys. If you had a couple of very small washers in there and you put both screws in, that will fit in the rail and you can see how it's straight across and it moves just a little bit, but it won't come off. So you can do that, it's a quick fix, easy, and it's done. Again, you'll probably want to put a couple of small washers in there just to fill the gap in case you put a lot of pressure against this you don't want the threads to strip or the screws to bend or snap I doubt that would happen but the shreds the threads could definitely strip the other option is I have uh, uh, two of these little Glock ones um, from uh, the 400 Olite and I modified it I oh, you can't even see I cut that down and I cut the top down so it's it's thinner. So if we throw this on, and yes, this works with screws too. I have tried it. Put that in. Put this on. Snap it on. You can see it's straight. It's on all the way. It works fine. And there's just the tiniest amount of wiggle room. Uh, less than when it was just this by itself because when I... Um, took a belt sander to the top of this uh, it widened it out with a little bit of a burr and I just left like that so that's how that goes you can put slide on oh man told you my my setup was ghetto it's empty okay it works works so there's your Springfield Hellcat with a light and you have a couple options as I showed you. I'm gonna put the screws in this and I'm gonna throw it in. I've already done it so I know it works. And uh, again, the other option is you can just take these little screws 
and put them in and then it fits and it actually locks on. So there you go, a little bit of modification and it fits just fine.